friends thank you for watching praying and supporting our india is in great danger its image is in great danger globally therefore i am speaking almost at 3 in the morning at 3:30 us time i just spoke to mr prashant bhushan my good friend the supreme court respected lawyer found out what is really going on and i expressed my prayers and my full support of what is happening i don't know all the details but i do know one thing that the world is worried about what is happening in india and its democracy is there no more freedom of speech is there no freedom of expression cannot one express their opinion anymore in our country what is happening to our great country my close friend alan dorswich the constitutional expert of the great usa and guru of gurus and harvard professor is wondering what is happening to india and there are many more even though i live in america for more than 30 years but you know i have traveled the world to 155 countries i have the privilege of meeting 10 of the top 10 dictators including libya syria sudan venezuela north koreans iran and iraq all those countries are we becoming a nation of dictatorship is democracy slowly dying what is really happening every educated person should educate every uneducated person to stand for democracy to fight for democracy to live for democracy that's important these experts are questioning me because they know i have i have closely advised and prayed and blessed to eight indian prime ministers and several presidents in the last 30 years and they know prime prime minister deva gowda and others have traveled with me in my planes around the world and they know i have closely advised to several us presidents so they are asking me what is going on because they know i have conducted hundreds of summits and conferences more than 30 years that india should lead india is nation of democracy india has morals and true democracy so therefore this week several powerful political leaders world leaders are questioning me i don't have the answer they have asked me a question about the supreme court ruling about babri masjid and mandir so i had no answer because i respect the honorable supreme court decision and i have not studied their order because i've been busy working day and night to defeat trump because he's a danger to the world even though he's my personal friend for 18 years heartbreaking now i'm more concerned if a per per person like prashant bhushan is prosecuted for simply for a tweet and expressing his opinion instead of investigating finding the reasons i wonder what will be the image of the supreme court globally because i love our nation i am still proud indian citizen i had the blessing of blessing the recent president of india pranam mukherjee who hosted me recently and i had the blessing of blessing the chief justice of india because i am so close and the prime minister modi and manmohan singh recently so i am shocked what to say what not to say because i will never speak against the highest court of our land the supreme court but i have been reading certain statements that is troubling me bothering me what is happening i'm worried let us pray for the supreme court 
and I appeal to the Supreme Court. Investigate if Mr. Prashant Bhushan is rejecting to apologize for something he has not done wrong. Let us prove he has done wrong in the court of law before you punish him. Otherwise, our entire nation's Supreme Court will be damaged. Already election commission has been questioned internationally, including United Nations because of the recent elections and so many false cases and the 370 in Jammu Kashmir. So many things are happening and the world is seeing world leaders are saying to me directly that India is losing its democracy. We cannot afford that. And I'm appealing to Prime Minister Modi, do everything you can, Modiji, to save India's image. It has been ruined last few years. I hope you will take charge and do your part as I'm doing my part. Let Supreme Court do its part to save democracy, to restore democracy and India's image globally because we are dealing with the social media. We are dealing with 8 billion people of the world. We cannot afford to lose 56 Muslim countries investment stopping, 150 Christian countries stopping its investment. 1.4 billion people, 140 crore people will suffer. So there and also they are questioning about the 15,000 FCRS have been cancelled in the last six years and especially 9,000 Christian charities and 6,000 other minority charities. You know, I'm a Hindu born follower of Jesus. I don't promote any conversions of any kind. I support democracy and our nation. That's what I preached in 155 countries to more than a billion people. God bless India. God save India. And God save the Supreme Court and its judges. And may the Holy Spirit of God give wisdom to the Supreme Court, Chief Justice and judges to take the right decision instead of punishing Mr. Prashant Poshan. Let it be investigated. May God bless all our leadership.